What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick A Card reading. In today's Pick A Card reading, we're gonna be focusing on love. So the question today is gonna be, who is your soulmate? So I'll be looking at the current energy of that person, whether you do know them or whether you still have yet to meet them. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, freedom, happiness, and most importantly, truth. If you are new, shout out to all my new subscribers along with the Patreon planet I have listed your names down below for those of you who support me on Patreon. I want to thank you. For all of you who are interested in updates about what I'm doing, the online tarot course, my webinar that I'm hosting now, the Soul Journey webinar every month, which is amazing, my book, merchandise, or even booking a reading or a life coach session, you can find all that in the description box below, but you can also look on my website, thetarotpriest.com and also follow me on Instagram at the tarot priest. All right, so let's go to a close up view of all the decks. So down below we have five different decks, obviously uh, the color coordination, I'm gonna be posting that down below. Um, the purple deck, the brown deck, the red deck, the blue, and the green. If you guys are new to pick a card readings, you can also just pause the video and see which deck is really pulling towards you or where your intuition is trying to guide you. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see who your soulmate is. All right, for those of you who chose the purple deck, this is your reading and who your soulmate is. So the overall energy of this person, we have Earth Connection. All right, so the first card out is Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet, come back down to Earth. So this is gonna be someone who is probably, yeah, for sure, an empath. So your soulmate is going to be, whether man or female, remember that gender is fluid with the cards. Uh, I'll be looking at masculine and feminine energy, but for the most part, this is someone who has a very divine gift of helping or feeling energy. So this person is going to be a person that can feel emotions. That doesn't necessarily mean they're good with expressing themselves. I want to point that out because I feel like this, this is someone who is connected to nature. So they will either love to be outdoors for the most part and love to do outdoor, outdoor activities. This is not someone that's going to be in the house all day except for there's ups and downs with this person. That's what I'm getting. It's like some days they want to be alone. Some days they enjoy being around people. This is not going to be someone who loves to be around people 24 seven. This isn't going to be your person that you see out all the time. Um, not, they might go out, but this is someone that doesn't really stay in large crowds for too long. So, and that's just because they're an empath passion so this person is very passionate um and the connection that you guys have with each other is very magnetic very seductive another thing that i'm picking up with this person is that they have a way of communicating in a vulnerable way but sometimes they don't uh, they're a very vulnerable person in the inside but they could also come across as being very strong but in the inside very delicate because there's a lot of ups and downs to this person. There's there's more. I'm picking up like a lot of fire signs and also could be air signs because this is someone who is all over the place when it comes to their emotions and expressing it. They're working on that, but I just really feel like they they have a good feeling with people, but they have more to work on when it comes to expressing themselves in a vulnerable way because they definitely have the ability to do so. So let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others in new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so yeah this is going to be a new love this is probably not going to be someone that you already know another thing that i'm feeling like is this person is very confident in who they are so they don't really open up to allowing people to help them they're probably going to be more of a servant by nature they could be a libra uh, i know that earlier i was saying i felt a lot of water signs and fire signs or air signs but there's definitely some water here too the only one that i don't see here is more earth signs because this person is not as grounded as they could be but take it how it resonates we definitely have libra energy we have cancer energy we have a lot of major arcana we have scorpio energy like i said i i knew i was picking up all signs so we already have air water um both air and water on the board and then we also have empress 
this person and you have a very beautiful connection through learning more about the world, learning more about each other. This person is going to really help you grow. This is not someone who's going to come having it all together. You guys will grow together into one union. In a sense, it's giving you even more of a beautiful connection with each other. Um, so now the, the chariot, the justice and the death card, this tells me that this person is also going through a lot spiritually but really emotionally. Remember I told you that this is someone that is learning how to express themselves, learning how much to express themselves and really having that balance that they're lacking. This person has a lot of karmic energy. Um, they come from a background where this person had to be uh, strong or independent. Seven of Wands, yeah. They also have an aspiration for more in life, but as far as financially, it's not really about the money for them. So this isn't going to be someone who boasts in a lot of financial freedom. This is not someone who's going to love material things all the time. They're going to be very connected. This, this person cares more about support, loyalty, comfortability. The judgment card is here, which is a very heavy card. This is a spiritual awakening. So this person, I don't feel that you've met. For some of you, if you have, they're coming up as a new love. So this person has undergone and went through changes and your soulmate in a sense has learned to discover more about themselves. They've been through a lot and a lot of emotional and spiritual things that are coming out. Now, when they go through their spiritual waking, that's when they will be prepared for you because I don't feel like they've already done that. And then the last card that we have is the raccoon inventor. Decide on what you really want. Okay. So that was another thing I was picking up with this deck. If you chose this, this person is not very decisive. They are indecisive about a lot of the things that they do. They're very up and down. They're not as certain as they could be, uh, but they have a beautiful soul and a beautiful energy when they do allow themselves to open up and be vulnerable. That's where your connection is. And so the reason why they had to overgo the spiritual awakening because it's 50 50 i'm feeling like some of you know this person but will not recognize them by their new energy and spirit and it did not work out and then for some of you it is someone new and the reason why i say that is because we have the death card which means that it's not over but that chapter is over right just because a chapter closes doesn't mean the book is over that's kind of what i'm getting for you guys so a lot of you i am feeling familiarity whether it's a past life connection or someone in the past they're showing up completely different um now another thing that i was picking up is that they're very creative and they're very driven to even though they may not appear to be they're very driven to change for the better they want to change for the better and so i'm figuring that as the more they open up and allow people in the more beautiful this connection it can really be because i see that you both together have karmic energy whether it's from one another and again you've met each other or whether it's from your guys's past relationships because if you feel like i'm also describing you that's something that's common with soulmates you are literally the same person um just in a diff in a human body so you guys share that same soul that same spirit um but on the outside not so much so i feel like this person does want to change and will have a breakthrough also but i do feel like there's some history here overall your soulmate is an empath they're emotional even if they don't express it physically they are learning how to be more grounded going through a spiritual awakening they could be a libra cancer or a scorpio they don't have to be but those are on the board there is some delays with you guys coming together because of the blockages in between the blockages is just simply the karmic energy and the karmic cycle this person has a little bit more growth to do um, another thing that i noticed is that this person is indecisive but all over the place also they like to do multiple things they like to have their hands in certain things they don't like to just they're not very tunnel vision focused they like to be expansive in that way this person is very amazing they have a lot of the same characteristic traits as you do when it comes to your spirit and the things that you've overgone so you're going to notice with this person that a lot of your background history is kind of the same you will have a lot in common based on your journey in spirituality 
All right, if you guys chose deck number one, the purple deck, this is your reading and who your soulmate is. Don't forget to comment down below so we can go back and forth with if whether or not you know this person or maybe you are open to seeing or meeting this person. All right, let's move on to the next deck. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, the brown deck, this is your reading and who your soulmate is. All right, so the overall energy is the fox energy. Clever, swift, smart, loves to find solutions to problems, likes to listen to their instincts, and they also are very resourceful. So this is someone who is going to have a little mystery to them, okay? They're not going to be exactly what you see, is exactly what you get. There's a mystery because this person is very clever, and they are also in tune spiritually from what I can feel. Let's see. Yeah, for sure. Higher learning. This is someone who has went through an awakening. They've, they've at least went through an awakening, a spiritual awakening that has basically, you know, to, to break that down, they have awakened to their spirit. They have awakening to something that is more in this world. Um, they've been through a lot. They have a lot of experience. They're also an old soul, but they have a really good balance of youth and when i'm saying that they're mysterious sometimes they're very wise and old but sometimes they're very youthful and clever voice of truth so this person cares deeply about learning the truth of the matter when it comes to spirituality or even religion this person is looking for more um and they are a leader an advocate they care about something in this world too like this person's energy is coming off as very potent, meaning they really want to make a difference in the world. They want to impact. This is someone who's going to have conversation about how things could get better in the world or how they could contribute better. This is someone who is very focused and they just are also very forward coming. They speak their truth. They're not going to be someone who suppresses it as much. They are pretty much open about that type of manner. All right, so we have the Empress. This is someone who can be very nurturing. The connection that you guys have is deeper or will be deeper than just intimacy. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. It's more than just that. Although intimacy will be a very beautiful experience because this person is on a different frequency. This isn't someone who's like, <laughs> you could just pick out of the crowd. They have a rarity about them. They're very unique in that aspect. They love to create, they're a creator and can be very creative as well. Um, this is someone who wants children. There's also some energy about possibly for some of you could have a child or just really want children. They've worked, they have a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom about that. Um, this is someone who could be starting all over. Again, they did go through an awakening they're doing more inner study, so they're learning more about themselves, the truth, their purpose. And then the hangman is they're going to see things from a different perspective. They're not going to be like everyone else. This is someone who's a very rare jewel to find. Six of Pentacles. This is someone also who loves to serve, loves to give, and is pretty financially stable. We have the King of Pentacles. They're working towards that. In a sense, it's like they want to be more stable financially because they know that they can give more. This could be someone that is, they're coming across as an old soul. So it, it could be someone that's the oldest of their family, but it could be someone who is just the wisest. Okay. This isn't book smart as much as it is just a lot of knowledge and intellect. They love to learn. They love to learn more. They want to learn more. They could be a CEO. They could want to be an entrepreneur. They could want to really desire to provide. In a sense, they have a lot. So they're working towards abundance in their life. This abundance that they have is not just for themselves. It is for establishing a family. And it is also establishing some form of being able to give because they enjoy giving as well. Most people who are abundant will be open to giving. That's something that I'm learning. All right, so you guys could have already met this person. Um, they're a leader. Let's see what this card is. Twin Flames. Okay, so your passion ignites. This is going to be a very strong connection. So with the Twin Flame, this could be someone that you met 
that is or had a relationship with someone that was their twin. How will you know that? Because they have a lot of experience with one person in particular in their past. So this is going to be someone that they were either almost, almost ready to be engaged to or someone that they've been with for a long time or you guys are twin flames. So how will you know that? Your soul will just mirror one another. Now there's a difference between a soulmate and a twin flame based on the labels that everyone has. A twin flame situation can still be a soulmate connection. So sometimes you can meet someone and it feels like a twin flame and it's someone that you're just really drawn to, really pulled towards. Um, this is someone who is a visionary. I like to see the King of Swords as someone who is a visionary for the future or a visionary for more abundance. They're coming up as a king, so they have a lot of masculine energy. Again, it doesn't have to be a man if it's masculine. Masculine energy is just being assertive, being very confident, um, knowing a lot, being very wise, uh, having a plan. This is someone that has a plan, okay? Now, the way that you're gonna know if this is a twin flame uh, soulmate situation is if you both have nearly the same vision for your purpose. Meaning if you are really driven towards setting people free, if you're really driven towards helping people heal themselves, if you're really driven towards a certain cause in the world, that person will also be very driven to that cause. They may not be in that same cause, but they care about people in the same aspect that you do, serving and giving to others. There, It seems like this person is very close to coming in if they have not already came in because the eight of wands is here. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So this will be a lifetime partner also, and then wedding. Yeah, this is gonna be someone that you're gonna wanna be with for, for a while. And that's why I said there's two case scenarios here. Either the person you met was very close to being married, very close to being engaged with their twin flame, or you are their twin flame. Either way, you have a soulmate situation here. So this situation is basically a mate to your soul, but it is only when you discover your soul that your mate will appear. And I try to teach that a lot. And if you guys haven't checked out my webinars, just look at them during the month because I will be getting into some twin flame soulmate stuff. So regardless, this is someone that you're gonna want to be with for a long time, if not a lifetime. And this is a very beautiful connection because what you are doing together is really serving and building something. So you're building a generation, you're building a legacy. This is gonna be someone where you just are like, there's no way you're so much like me. Not just characteristics and traits, but your vision for your future and your spirit is alike, your soul is alike. That's why it's very important for you, just with this card, more inner study, more of who your soul is, what your soul is, is gonna attract this person. And they're very close, if not already, you've met this person. And if I describe them, it's very simple. Just to wrap up this deck, this is a very deep connection. This is going to be like dating yourself, the closest to dating yourself in another person. There is a lot of love here. There's a lot of chemistry, but there's a lot of truth and spirituality. So that is going to be a key pivotal point to you meeting this person is your spirituality. So... If you guys chose the brown deck, deck number two, this is your reading and who your soulmate is. If you chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below so we can have some discussions about whether or not you already know this person or are really excited in anticipating this person because usually when you're excited in anticipation, they're very close. All right, moving on to the next deck. All right, if you guys chose the red deck, this is your reading and who is your soulmate? Deck number three, the red deck, overall energy for who their soulmate is. Patience, Huron, create a place in nature, stillness, be renewed, take time alone to find balance, step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. So this person is learning patience. Okay, yeah, for sure. This is gonna be a very deep connection. I can already feel that. Let's see. Yep. Psychic insight and cosmic gateway. You, some of you may start dreaming about this soulmate. Some of you may start seeing this soulmate. Some of you may start visualizing a life and someone is just placed in that vision or that imagination. This is going to be your life partner. 
Um, this soulmate, because again, you can have multiple soulmates. You can have soulmate best friends. This is a, a soulmate for the reason and the sole purpose of your spiritual growth. So you are also becoming them. They are becoming you with more of a deep connection. So this person is learning to overcome their thoughts. They're, they are impatient. They, they will probably tell you that they've struggled with anxiety or sometimes they have anxiety. Um, they're, they overthink a lot, but it, it, it is because they have a beautiful connection to the universe and higher self. They have to learn how to submit to higher self in order to understand. And that's what's kind of going on. They're going through a spiritual awakening and they're, in fact, if you meet this person, they're going to tell you that around this period of time was a very important time of their life because they're learning how to follow their intuition more. They're learning how to see spirituality for what it is not. That's the key point here is that they're learning what spirituality really is and they do have psychic abilities, meaning they are either a dreamer, they could be an empath or they can hear messages. But because of their mind and the fact that they're struggling with stillness and peace in particularly, this will be an overthinker, someone who overthinks something like, why didn't you text me back or what were you doing? They overthink and they overanalyze a lot of things. All right, let's see what this connection is about. Healing, yeah. So this person is healing, not just from past relationships, from what I'm feeling, but also healing their mind. It says, imagine yourself. Remember, that's what I was just saying in imagination. So that's a key point, imagination. If you want this soulmate to come much sooner, all you have to do is start imagining this person, okay? Now, imagine yourself and your beloved ones surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So this person has went through some tragedy. And again, with what is required of them, waking up to their gifts, most of the time, if you have these psychic abilities, it was tragedies that opened your eyes to the insights that you do have. This person has went through some drastic healing when it comes to loss and also themselves. And I don't know why this is coming up, but this is someone who had dreams in high school and they must have lost track. That's someone else that's coming up too, is just dreams in high school is what I'm hearing. And then they kind of just lost themselves and they're finding themselves again. Retreat, playfulness. So the retreat card, whenever it comes up, it says to disconnect from the world. That's someone that spends some time by themselves, again, trying to seek and find peace because of their overwhelming thoughts. Another thing, I feel like you guys could meet them um, on a retreat, but I don't really feel that. I'm really feeling like this, this is more of a retreat that you guys will go on. You have a very beautiful connection because it is deeper than just the physical romance, yeah. So there's definitely romance here, but it is a playful romance. As this says, playfulness, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun so you guys will have a lot of fun this is going to be someone who still wants to embrace their youth no matter how old they're getting all right five of wands this isn't someone who likes to argue this is someone who likes to just end in uh bad conversations um they're working on getting closer to their intuition i mean this is someone who's pretty gifted intuitively whether they follow it or not that's another situation with the high priestess the psychic ability the cosmic gateway this is someone who is resisting a deeper spiritual connection which is what the holdup is if you haven't met this person they're still resisting going through the spiritual uh, situation and they're very in tune spiritually but they do not follow it entirely and that's why the high priestess is in reverse the magician so yeah very spiritual at manifesting, working towards having more abundance. They don't really worry about it, but when they do, there is a lot of stress when it comes to their dependency of working for another person that's coming up. All right, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So things are moving slow independently with their finances, okay? This is someone who wants to build more. They're not really a materialistic person, but they do enjoy just having peace of mind, which means that the basic things they enjoy taking care of because of uh, them overthinking it. But there is a lot of stress on this person. I do feel like uh, the connection that you guys have is very romantic and you're going to help them a lot with connecting more to their intuition. You guys are nearly on the same path 
but you will have a different background. You will still be looking for the same thing. What's most important to this person is going to be their ability to relax and have fun and be playful and enjoy life and getting back to their youth. So this is someone that had to grow up pretty fast or someone who was in survival mode or overwhelmed. They could also have to take care of other people. They could be taking care of parents or grandparents who are sick or they raise their, their siblings. This is a lot of maturity, very young. And so you and them together is a great balance of youthfulness and learning more about just overall spirituality and manifesting and the things that you guys will both have in common. So for the most part, if you guys chose the red deck, deck number three, this is someone that you guys are going to love a long time. I see you guys doing a lot of outdoors things, a lot of whether it could be hiking, taking walks, um, or holding hands, just having really beautiful conversation is what is at the core of this because you guys are both manifesting each other um, unknowingly, but the time has yet to come because of the spirituality and the spiritual awakening that they're going through, which is learning to follow their more intuition because also the intuition is what's going to lead you to one another. It is through that intuition that will lead you to the other soulmate. You guys have to be on the same frequency. So if you're on 101 and they're on 103, something has to be fine tuned so that you can be on the same frequency, but then manifesting and attracting one another. That's why the spiritual awakening is so important. Another thing I want to mention with this deck number three, the red deck, is that if I am describing you or some of these characteristic traits are very similar to you, that is because you guys are soulmates. So that means that it would be you just in another person. So you will find a lot of yourself in this person and vice versa. So there will be a beautiful balance there and you will be able to help one another out in your growth towards more spirituality. So it is beautiful. They're working towards more of an abundant lifestyle, but they're still being patient. Um, I think if this person just had fun, relaxed, followed their intuition, you would meet each other like that and you would be on a retreat very, very uh, quickly. In fact, you guys are going to move very quickly. So this isn't going to be something where you have to take your time. It will feel like you've known this person for some time. All right. If you guys chose the red deck, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the next deck. All right. If you guys chose the blue stone and deck number four, this is your reading and who your soulmate is. We're going to start off with some overall energy. All right, so we have Ram, Perseverance, Perseverance. You have many gifts, no problem can withstand. So before I even get into this, I'm really picking up a strong Aries energy. This person has a lot of masculine energy. Again, that doesn't have to be a man or a female. It's just someone who's very assertive, very confident, very gifted, uh, very smart. The power of your mind with patience, you can reach your mountaintop never. Give up and good luck with following. Okay, so this person is going to love to take the lead in things. Yeah, they're very wise. They have a lot of wisdom and they have a gift of just knowing. They have a good judgment with people. So they might say that they have good discernment with people is something else that I'm hearing. Now, they could come from a religious background. So I don't know exactly how they will feel about getting this reading about them because that's something that's coming up. They could come from a religious background or just not open to spirituality or not have found um, exactly what it is that they're here for. So let's get into why that could be. So there is some energy, like some past energy here. Yeah, for sure. So we have the Ten of Swords. This is an ending. The Seven of Wands. This is a breakthrough. The Nine of Wands. This is wounded. So this person does not trust easily. They do not open up uh, easily. They're not going to spill everything about them. In fact, you will have to dig to get to know them. That's why I said it kind of feels like Aries energy. Um, they had to go through a lot in their life. Seven of Cups. This isn't someone who likes to date multiple people. Um, in fact, I don't even feel like they make it very hard uh, to love them because of the things that they've been through even though they feel as though they're protecting themselves um this person will have a hard exterior 
because of the things they've went through. It seems like there is history here. It says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So that's kind of why I'm picking up past energies because it feels like your soulmate and you have a lot of past history or past, past life experience together. Um, another thing is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This person is guarded. Okay. They're pretty guarded and I cannot lie. Yeah. It says it's safe for you to love. I figured that. So it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of it all. So when you meet this person, if you haven't already, don't take anything personal. It's just that they've been through a lot um, and they don't really feel that. And if I'm describing you, like I've mentioned in the other decks, it's probably because you and your soulmate reflect each other. Okay. That's what a soulmate is. You have a lot in common based on your spirit, not based on your characteristic traits and me as a individual person. It's more of my spirit and soul um, that creates a soulmate. So it's safe for you to love. This person is extremely guarded because of the past situations. In fact, let go of control issues. This is something they're working on is to being more open, allowing people in. I feel like you might have a problem at the very beginning of opening up uh, to this person and vice versa because of the things you guys have both been through. I'm really feeling now that this is about both of you who have been through endings. Some of you have kind of just given up on, on soulmates or finding it because of the things that you've went through. Um, again, this is not someone who dates often because they prefer to be by themselves is what I'm getting. Uh, there's a lot of defensive energy as well. So that's kind of what they're working on is clearing out that karmic energy, even forgiveness, letting things go. I'm feeling like you guys may have already known each other or know each other but may have uh, trouble know each other uh, and may have trouble or had trouble when you first dated because it definitely feels like you know this person. There's history here. Chariot, we have cancer energy. Um, some of you with someone else in the past, okay, are looking to moving forward on the chariot. And then the lovers is Gemini energy. So that's the thing is that I feel like you do know this person. Um, this is definitely a soulmate, but I'm feeling again, as I've mentioned in other decks, you can have multiple soulmates. You don't have to just have one, but one in particular is a soulmate that you guys be have been through a lot together. Um, and if not together apart, a lot apart, and both of you have your own defensive mechanisms. So I feel like a lot of the things that the conversation is that you guys have a lot in common, whether it was because you were together or not you've experienced a lot of the same past situations with each other and apart. So while you both have been through a lot, you're both saying the same things. You both are making it a little bit hard to love and open up to this person and vice versa. But I feel like there is some love here and this person is going to help you open up more to giving more of yourself and so that you can receive in return. But you are mirroring one another for sure. This is like putting a mirror up in front of you. Now, overall, what I'm getting with this being a soulmate is that this person is very wise, but sometimes they can come off as being stubborn. Um, they know a lot, so it is hard to control them. We have uh, let go of control issues. This is not someone that you can easily control, and this is not going to be someone that is completely open. But when you do both open up, it is going to allow both of you to be able to feel love on a deeper scale. Um, so when you do meet this person, if you haven't already, don't take anything personal. They've just been through a lot. It's going to take them some time to open up. But I do feel like once things open up, it moves very quickly with the chariot. It's going to move very, very quickly. And you're only going to be able to really feel that love if you open up and that person also opens up and allows one of you to experience the love that you are both desiring. For instance, these endings that have happened in your past and this person's past should no longer dictate how you feel about the next person that comes. And that's kind of what you both are learning. That's why I said you're mirroring one another. Um, the best way and the easiest way to re either rekindle this or call in this soulmate is to simply forgive, to release everything in the past because it's building up and becoming karmic energy. So overall, there's going to be a lot of defensive mechanisms, but 
if you stay persistent, which is why we have perseverance, if you both stay persistent, you will be able to feel that synchronicity of the connection together. Um, and that will be very beautiful. As this card says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So it's very important that you feel that because this person has trouble saying that. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, the blue deck, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number five. All right, if you guys chose deck number five, the green deck, this is your reading and who is your soulmate? Butterfly, rebirth. So whoever this person is, they've made a lot of transitions. It says you can reinvent yourself. So they've been working towards reinventing themselves. They're very brilliant. And they also love to share the world with someone. They want to experience sharing their journey with another person. So that is something that they're desiring in this moment. Very caring, very compassionate, loves to open up, uh, cares deeply about love, cares deeply about unconditional love, supreme protection. You are protected and move beyond limitation and trust. So this person is learning to build more trust, learning how to express their love and yeah, feeling deserving of love. So this person has went through a lot in their past relationships. It seems like they have been taken advantage of and they're really desiring to reciprocate this love with someone else. It's it's very beautiful. This person is very mature. They've been through things. They don't really spend much time from what I'm feeling, arguing or enjoying arguing. Um, they just want to share their journey with someone. Um, they're actually coming off as very simple and very open-minded. Sexual union and balance. So it says, Honor the place in one another where you are in eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. So they're looking to experience a deeper connection with someone uh, that's way beneath the physical, uh, yeah, way beneath the physical attraction, way beneath uh, intellect. You know, I would say they're an intellectual, which they are, but there's something that they're after and that's just more depth in love. They're looking for a rare connection. They're not looking for someone that's just like, oh, hey, yeah, we met this way. It is just a divine synchronicity with both of you two. They're looking for marriage, the four of wands. They're looking for harmony, someone that will not um, <laughs> test their patience, someone who is, they're looking for someone who is much more mature, much more mature um, and, and really wants to just get down to enjoying life and not uh, the shallow surface things, not spending a lot of time with shallow surface arguing. This was the only deck that had three of these cards. It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now. So this is for both of you guys. Again, remember your soulmate mirrors you. It is a mate to your soul. Two of swords. So yeah, they're just, there is a lot of confusion here about where to move forward. This person is looking for you just as you are looking for them. They are looking to, to build a family. Family is something very important to them. They're looking to get married. They're looking for commitment. Um, not that they're hell bound on commitment. They're just wanting someone that they can grow old with. Four of Swords, they've done, basically they're saying they've done everything that they can to attract this person, but they don't feel like they have a lot of luck. We have Leo energy on the board. We have Five of Cup energy and we have the Capricorn energy on the board. Now, another thing is that they also want to experience individual freedom. They do not like to be tied down with control or being told what to do. They just want to, sh they're very simple. They keep saying the same thing. I just want to spend my life with someone, share this love, share this compassion, um, express myself. They love conversation. They're getting to know themselves. They have went through a rebirth and realizing that everything that they were looking for in the past was not what they really wanted. Now they're just ready for a deeper commitment. Um, this person, from what they're saying, is very, very close, okay? Um, but both of you have to know that you deserve love for you to attract one another. Also, it says balance. Love is not always about agreeing. It's a great, re a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. 
that's kind of what I was saying earlier. This person does not want to argue. They are just, they've been working on their own individual fulfillment and they would simply like to share that with another person. That's what I love about them. They're very simple. They know exactly what they want. Um, they want to still experience great things like sex. They want to have more than just um, sex and intimacy. They want to actually experience the union. A sexual union would be a very, very deep, intimate connection beyond just physical. We know that it takes more in sex to be connected with the person. That's what they're saying. They've, they've dated. This person could even say, I've traveled the world. They are ready to settle down and they're looking for someone to build a family and grow old with. Another thing is that they're constantly moving beyond their own limitations. They're learning how to trust more. I feel like this person, whereas would be the person that hurts others, you know, in relationship breakups, this person is not that person. This person is just dating um, and has been dating, but just seems like they're not finding that deeper connection. So what they're looking for, and the same thing that you may say that you're looking for, is someone who knows who they are someone who wants to enjoy life, someone who wants to be free because this person doesn't want to be bound. Um, while they love sex, the devil is in reverse. So they're not, they're not just building a connection and they don't want to build a connection just off of that. They want something deeper and they know that it exists. They're just very hopeful and optimistic that they will soon discover that that person is you. It is a very beautiful journey. You guys will have so much to share about how you manifested each other, um, law of attraction. Maybe you guys are both going to say that, um, oh, wow, I imagined that too, or I had that same dream. Just look out for similarities in your experiences, because I am feeling like this person at one point didn't know who they were, but now know who they are and are ready to settle down. They seem like they, they're learning patience also because they're ready for this person to come in too. They're tired of waiting in a fact. In all actuality, they've been through their ups and downs and their breakups, and now they're just simply ready to love you. So you're only going to attract this person if you know that you deserve love, because this person has a lot of love that they want to give. I mean, they're going to try to drench you in love because they have been looking for you for some time now. And so that's a very beautiful connection. I feel like some of you that are in relationships that chose this deck, uh, and if I'm describing that person, then that's definitely who I'm talking about because there is some chemistry here, whether you've met or you haven't met, take that how it resonates. So overall, this is a beautiful experience. You guys will transition and continue to transition together, but the holdup is that both people have to be ready to give and receive love. Both people have to know exactly what they want, which is why it says, clearly decide on what you want so that it can come to you now. So being very decisive about what you want, knowing exactly what it is that you want is going to bring this person in. All right, if you guys chose deck number five, the green deck, this is your reading and who is your soulmate? Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you've already met this person or if you're excited to meet them. In the meantime, I am going to check out until the next pick a card reading. Love and light to you guys all.